Hello, fabulous superstar Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is, and it really is a big, beautiful, and important month. Part of what makes it so important is Saturn. Saturn is going to change signs right around the 22nd of this month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. And as Saturn changes signs, we'll move into the sign just before yours. Now, this is just a little taste because it is going to be July 1st that Saturn will retrograde out of this part of the sky to return again in December. But part of what makes this particular month so important is that at the very end of the month, March 31st, Mars and Saturn will meet, accelerating each other's energies in important ways. This is a part of the sky for you that is connected to karmic closures and creating space for the new and the next and the better to come in. And this does represent an important moment, not only of self-honesty, but also understanding where it is that you do truly feel that some situation, some path has served its purpose. Now, there's so much that is so good this month and beyond. I actually think that there's gonna be a part of you that is grateful for what is transforming now. It's almost as if some burden ultimately needs to lift so that you can embrace life and embrace yourself and celebrate yourself and truly be happy in this life that much more fully. Well, that is part of what may show up for you now. It is important to be kind and gentle to yourself. Make sure you're getting lots and lots of rest. That is gonna be important because a whole lot will be stirring within your soul and your psyche and your spirit, but you will navigate it exceedingly well. And there's so much else that's so good that I do think that by the time we get there, by the time we get to the end of the month, it is as if you are embracing and ready for where it is you know you are ready for transformation where it is you know you are ready for change, to move yourself towards a happier and more enthusiastic future. Now, I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way and do be on the lookout for Saturn special horoscopes. Uh, you'll get notifications of that and previews of that. All of that will be on YouTube as well and of course in the superstar space. So do be on the lookout for that because that is gonna be important. This is a part of the sky for you that you have a natural connection to. This is what is considered uh, your area of life, your house in the sky. And so what happens here is that much more meaningful to you. And what happens here now is just the beginning. It is gonna be Saturn that leaves this part of the sky. Right now it's a taste, leaves this part of the sky July 1st, will return here in December. But when it does return, it will do so meeting your ancient ruling planet Jupiter. And at that time, you will see what happens now very differently. And that is when we have all kinds of inspiring and hopeful new beginnings, big karmic blessings coming for you in December. And I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. So what else is happening this month? Well, right around the 24th, we are going to have a new moon. And this new moon is happening in a financial part of your sky. And there's that beautiful alignment happening with Saturn in this brand new part of the sky as well. So what this tells me is new ways of earning money, new ways of moving yourself in a direction of greater self-love and self-esteem and self-respect. You coming to an understanding of where it is that you actually want to, in very practical ways, move yourself towards greater prosperity. And there may be new financial opportunities that come to you at this time. But there's another big news happening, and that is a gorgeous full moon in your opposite sign. Now that full moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter and with Pluto. Now this is happening right around the ninth of the month. So we're going back earlier. I wanted to like sort of end on this high note here, or at least start to culminate on this high note, because I do think that this full moon in your opposite sign is going to bring light to many of your alliances. It is standing across the sky from Neptune and you do have Mercury retrograde in your sign as well as you start this month. And so there's this sense that all is not clear. 
there's a sense of shifting and changing emotions and perhaps you're not perceiving things in as grounded a way as you deserve to perceive them and yet we get to this full moon and you are feeling as if someone else illuminates an understanding for you an understanding of heart illuminates a more empowered vision of yourself yes but also an understanding of where you are in relation to other people now this could be a business partnership or professional alliance bringing prosperity into your life at this time bringing happiness into your life at this time and perspective for that matter and it may be the kind of heart to heart or moment that ends up allowing you to have cleansing tears ends up allowing you to have this safe space in which you can have that sense of a, a cleansing of spirit, but also happiness and excitement and fun energy all wrapped into one. But I think for a lot of Pisceans out there, this energy is gonna play out in the context of love. If you are open to meeting someone new, this full moon does indicate that someone will be there to help you to understand where you are in love and why, and to ultimately empower you to know that there is love in the world for you. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do think that this full moon represents a moment of truth. And this is very all or nothing kind of energy here. And so either it is that you realize it isn't working, but you also know there are options available to you in love, or you realize and you're navigating some fears and some emotions and you get to that point where you know that this is something you want to pursue. There's a depth of connection there that you want to understand more fully. And if that's the case, then it does look like you are in all the feels, as they say, right? You are in all of your feels. You're feeling the emotions, yes, but there's also a lot of sultry, powerful passion at this time as well. And for those of you in an established bond, I feel like this is your partner coming into focus in important ways, but also, there's a lot of love here as well. There's a bonding taking place here. Now for a very small percentage of you, this may be a sense of realization that this isn't working and you wanna look at that, but that wouldn't be surprising energy, okay? That would be looking at it more deeply for yourself and transforming things in a way that empowers you. But for the overwhelming majority, this is bonding, this is connection, this is renewed intimacy that you can feel into your spirit. It is that type of clarity and understanding and connection that you feel with your partner at this time. What I love about this month for you, well, I'm gonna say that full moon in your opposite sign, I think it's gonna help you to get honest and see another person differently, perhaps more clearly, perhaps more lovingly, perhaps more emotionally. But regardless, it does look like you are realizing that there are people who genuinely support you and love you and want to be part of lifting you up. There's a sense now of wisdom and transformation and empowerment coming to you through a friend or a group network that you may be connected to. And yet at the same time, it's the one-on-one -on -one connection that ends up meaning the most. And the thing is you are loved, you are supported, and it is a full moon like this and a month like this that is going to show you that wherever there is doubt, maybe that's what needs to come to a close now so that you can fully embrace the happiness ahead. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week, which is a really good idea with a month like this. There is a very active and important astrological sky as we go along week to week this month. And I will be here to talk about it every single week, not only on YouTube, but certainly in the superstar space at NadiaShaw.com. If you sign up to be one of my superstars, you'll get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes. Now that's going to matter with a month like this, where there will be Saturn special horoscopes and Venus special horoscopes as well, because we do have the Venus retrograde season starting next month, right around the corner. And so all of that is in the superstar space and so much more just in March. And I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.